kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part nine of my video series on background video player using Exo Player in Android Studio. All right, guys. So now I have until now we have done the video player part, and now we are going to write the code for the floating widget, which is very important uh, concept, which is used. okay so i want to show you what i mean by floating action i mean floating widget so here you can see let me play a video so if i open any of the videos let's say i open this video and if i click on this so you can see that the video is is now being played in the background all right so i will be teaching you on how you can play the video in the background there is a button if you click on this so you can see that the application is uh, restarted and yes all right guys so here we will i i will try to make some short videos because my videos are getting uh, very much larger so i will try to limit the recording to 5 minutes or And or seven minutes. Okay, so here we will create a new service class. So let's create a new package, and here we will name the package as services. And we forgot to add this this main activity to our activity. So just drag it, and click refactor, and continue. Okay, so now your main activity will be in the activities. so now our our project is organized and now we can create a new service class inside our services uh, package and we name it as floating widget service and we need to make sure that it extends with the service class because we are going to use the service which will run in the background okay so there are uh, many things which we need to initialize first so first of all we need to send the uri of the video to this service activity okay so now it's saying that we need to implement the method on bind so we say on bind and then we have the on start command okay and there we have these two methods and now first of all we need to use a default and empty constructor for our service so we can say public float widget service and it will be empty then we need to have some uh, variables so first of all we need to use the window manager okay so we will need to use the window manager then we can say m window manager then we need to use a view because we need to display a view so for that we can say private view and we name it as m floating widget all right so now we have these two things we have the video window manager then we have the view then we need to have the uri of the video all right because we now need to receive the uh, video uri we have to send it so let's just initialize our service here so here we can say intent uh, we can say service intent equal to new intent and we need to make video player activity dot this and we need to start our service so we can say floating widget service dot class and we can say service intent dot add put extra and we can add the video uri and then we can say video uri dot to string then we can say start service and we can pass our service intent here all right so now here we have this floating widget service here then now we can easily receive it inside our own start command because we have the intent object here so first of all we can check if intent is not equal to null then what we are going to do is we are going to find the uh, receive the uri so here we can say intent dot get string extra then we can have the video uri here 
and then we have the video URI and it will be equal to URI dot parse and then video URI and we have the URI string and okay so now here we need to have some checks because if because when the service is started we need to check if there is already the view or not okay so we need to check it so we need to check if m window manager is not equal to null and m floating widget is not equal to null or m floating widget is shown and exo player okay so we need to first of all have the exo player here so for this we can say simple exo player then we have the player view okay then we have this player view then we need to have the bandwidth meter then we say bandwidth meter then we need to have the track selector then yes we have the track selector then we have default data source factory then we have data source factory then we need to have the extractors factory dot extractors factory okay so we are we need this uh, object because we need to initialize our exo player library and then play the video okay guys so i think that is enough for this video i will start a new video and we can continue uh, coding it all right so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and